All right, so now we're going to talk about a high yield topic in, uh, in anatomy. It's going to be regarding the facet orientation. Now, why do I say this is important? Well, I took my boards two days ago. And although I'm not allowed to say what was on the test, I can tell you that this would be a very high yield topic, not only for the boards, but also for any exam you may have in any class. And it's a very easy way to remember this. Now, we're going to be talking about the superior facets. Remember that vertebrae have both a superior and an inferior facet. Now, what is that? It's where the superior facet meets the inferior facet of the vertebral level above it. So if we're talking about the superior facet of, let's just make up C5, the superior facet of C5 is going to meet the inferior facet of C4. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, just Wikipedia it, and you'll get a good idea of what the superior versus the inferior facet looks like. Now, the superior facet of C5 and the inferior facet of C5 are met in the middle by the pars intraarticularis, and that can be the Scotty dog fracture. I'll talk about that later, but that's another high yield subject. So now, the facet orientation. How are these superior facets? We're only going to be talking about the superior facets now. That's a big concept to remember. How do these facets orient themselves? Are they oriented straight up? No. They're going to be oriented in a certain fashion. And depending on what level it is, whether it's cervical, thoracic, or lumbar, the orientation will be different. So for cervical region, we're going to be talking about backwards, up, and medial, bum. So it'll be facing slightly backwards, it'll be facing upwards, and it'll be slightly medial. So bum. The thoracic region will be backwards, up, except this time it'll be facing a little laterally. So we have bum, bowl, and then the lumbar region primarily focus backwards and medially. Um, I have seen sources that say backwards, upwards, and medially. So uh, in parentheses, I'm just going to write backwards, upwards, and medially because depending on the institution that you're taught at, um, they will teach this one in different ways. But backwards, medially, or backwards, upwards, and medially. So uh, put it all together, bumble bum, or bumble bm. Um, so if on a test question, for example, you're saying, what is the orientation of the facets of vertebral level T7? Well, you know that you're in the thoracic region, so it'll be backwards, upwards, and laterally. So this is just a, just a quick way to remember the facet orientation, a high yield topic.